What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Reese. And your girl Raylene. And we are back with another video. Look, before we even get into anything, if you are new to our channel and you've never seen us before, you've never watched us, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn that bell on so you're notified every single time that we post a Reese and Ray vlog or a video or a prank or whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Today, me and my baby are going to be doing another QA. We do have the girls in the background eating and watching their YouTube and stuff, so hey, we are. I see there it goes. How are we gonna get through this? There's a lot of good questions. I just screenshotted a bunch of random ones. I really did not read a lot. I don't even know which ones I screenshotted. I guess without further ado, we can just get straight into it. This intro could just be short and simple and it, the title explains itself, you know what I'm saying? Q&A, you know, you guys wanna just know a lot more about us. It is what it is, but uh, let's just get straight into this. Ah. I haven't even looked at any of them, so I don't even know what's going to be asked right now. All right. This is from, like, my Instagram story. So, her questions would probably be a lot different. She just didn't do it. First question. How was it letting Reese fully into your guys' life? Fully. Like, fully, fully? Like, moving in fully. Uh, so, we were super happy. Um, people may think we moved, like, super quick, but it didn't seem that way for us. We just knew that we loved each other, and literally, we always want to be with each other. All of us. I don't know, we're just in, in, how do you say, inseparable? Inseparable. <laughs> inseparable. Mm. Um, but yeah, we're happy and we have many more years to go. So yeah, this is forever. Wow. Forever. forever. <laughs> this was like the same person. So shout out Truly. If y'all didn't know, Truly is my DJ. Uh, he also said, how is it stepping into that role, Reese? Uh, maybe he, I think he's saying like the role is like a stepdad. Yeah. I guess I would just say, now that I know the girls and I've been around them 24, or seven the past freaking eight months um i would just have to say that it was just something that i was still thinking about but also it was like the first time i met the girls it was like fell in love you know so it it when you when you fall in love with somebody and you just want to be around around them 24 7 it's kind of hard to just kind of like look at the one negative thing or the one con you know what i'm saying because obviously like two kids it is a lot like a lot of people are just like oh two kids they look perfect duh, duh. every kid has their flaws every kid has their perfections you know what I'm saying so it's it's real different it's real like eye-opening it's definitely opened my eyes to a lot of things and I'll say it right now I was selfish it wasn't even selfish it was more of like I didn't have anybody to you didn't lean yeah, on even or talk like to or me as their mom like being that I was pregnant and you know I had them I could not be and here's one of the cons they interrupt everything without even knowing yeah, go watch your YouTube. Okay, so then you need to just you need to just be quiet, then, girl. Okay, but I guess um, I just didn't have anybody to like depend on or or have anybody depend on me. So it was more of like. I need to, I didn't have to wake up in the middle of the night. I didn't have to ever wake up in the middle of the night like, oh, I gotta get another bottle. Or I didn't have to wake up early in the morning or I, I didn't have to like watch them while Raylene was gone or nothing. That I didn't have My anybody diapers. to do that. And so, or diapers and stuff. So like, it's definitely stopped me from being so self-centered. And I'll say it, when, back then I was self-centered. I wasn't worried about anybody else. I was worried about myself. But now I'm like always worried about someone else now. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's, Long story short, it could been a, it could have been a longer longer answer, but. <laughs> All right, next question. Would you guys ever consider to move out to LA? No. No. Like, I love it here, and I don't want to be away from my parents. We love family. I love being around family, and so, yeah. like, being out there, we don't have no family out there. I mean, she has family out in LA. But my well, parents are out there. <laughs> but our immediate family isn't out there, and that's who we're with every day or talking to every day, and um, all of our friends, our childhood friends and stuff are out here, so I just Not don't. Not just that, but the girl's cousins, their friends. We like... can make a we can literally fly 45 minutes be in LA in 45 minutes if we want mm -hmm. to literally fly out there 45 minutes be back 45 minutes you know what I'm saying so it's it's we don't really want to move to LA yeah. but catch us if we ever start talking about moving to LA stop us right there so yes that's the answer to moving out to LA no we're not doing it nope. next question Will y'all get married? Duh. So this is the funny thing to me. Duh. No, no, no. Yeah, because when people ask you like, oh, do you see yourself getting married or do you plan on getting married? I'm not when you my get time. in a relationship, that's the goal. Like you're not just in a relationship just to pass time. Like some people are in relationships just to pass time, and I couldn't do really? it. That's just a waste of time. Yeah, it's like why if I'm not in love with you and if I don't see a future with you or see myself getting married with you, like why would you like waste all that time? You know what I mean? So, I've yeah. been around. I feel people. like that's the goal. I've like, been around. 
around people. How do you get people. in a relationship? I feel like that's the goal. I've been around people where they're like, uh, I'm just dating her to just date her. Like, I don't, like, I obviously don't see us together. Like, in high school, it's different. When you're in high school, I, don't, then, I still yeah, don't course, think, like, like eh. you still don't even know what you want. I'm such a romantic, though. Like, <laughs> I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. I, yeah, I'll, I'm gonna put a ring on that finger. She'll have a promise ring soon. Don't just say that because you said you were going to give me a dog too and I haven't got one. <laughs> I said by the end of the year. It's not the end of the year No, yet. you didn't. Why do you think I need a truck? I'm kidding. <laughs> Guys, so earlier, so I'm planning, like I'm getting Raylene's present and for Christmas and it's something big. And so she, I told her to guess once and because it's something that she's, she's never told me that she wanted. Is it a mirror? No. Okay. I told you it has nothing to do with makeup. Okay. She said, she said, I was, I was like, I was like, give me one guess. I was like, it has to do nothing with what you want. She was like, I think it's a vanity. I was like, no. There's nothing big that I would want. It's not a vanity. So don't get your hopes up, please, because I'm it's not. not a vanity. But, but what else? Exactly, it makes you think. This is what it is. A shed. But yeah, so she <laughs> she she failed on the. <laughs> said you wanted to get the girls a trampoline, get one for the back. <laughs> Come on, we need to be out in the back more. All right, next question. When are you guys going to have an intro? Yay! 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 We just got the beat today. She still has not listened to it. Yes, I did this no, morning. No, you didn't really listen yes, to I it did. though. She was doing a bunch of stuff. She was cooking, cleaning, and I was like, like listen always. to this. And she just didn't listen. And so, and then I was like, do you like it? She was like, mm-hmm. Probably don't even remember what it sounds like. Yes, I do. No, it don't. sounds like tropical. Yeah, it is. But we will be dropping our official first intro January 1st. So I'm about to go lay down my vocals. I'm going to be the one that's singing the song. We're about to shoot the video. Nick's going to be out here in Arizona. We're about to shoot the video. The girls will be in the intro too. And uh, it's going to be fire. We're going to have one of the best intros because I do music videos. We make movies. Me and Nick. Me and Nick. <laughs> But um, but yeah, that's that's when our intro is coming out. January 1st, mark the calendar. How old are the girls? They are so pretty. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, we try so to do their hair every mom. day and they're like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so Ileana is three. She will be four in February. And Myla is two. She will be three in June. In June. In June. Girl, we look at Myla. Myla knew that we were talking about her, so now she wants we to get up Gemini and come over and an Aquarius. She knows we're talking about her. <laughs> Girl. She's okay, you shaky. can you can sit right here. All right. Shaky, shaky, shaky. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This is the lover over here. Well, they're both love bugs, but this girl, man. The lover. Cuddle bug. Um, all right, next question. And yes, I did their hair. I did it. He did his own too. Look at that. <laughs> but anyways, all right, next question. Would you have a kid with her when y'all ready to have one? Yeah, absolutely. I'm gonna shit. In like five years. It's coming. I know I have a son. I know you guys have heard me say this, but I know I have a son. I know we'll have a son. But I say, like, honestly, probably like another three, three to four years. Three to four years. When God's ready for It's probably going to start. Yeah. It's probably going to. What? You object? You don't want a baby brother? You want a baby brother? It was so crazy, you guys, because we were literally at the store like last week, huh? And she was like, I want a baby brother literally out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. I was like, mm, little girl, you're crazy. Maybe she's reading your belly. Maybe you're pregnant. <gasps> No, because I'm on birth control. <laughs> Let me tell you, this shot birth control, hate it. I'll tell you guys. Don't ever get on it. I'll tell you guys right now, though. My son will be dripped. He will be the best looking boy you've ever seen in your entire life. Like his dad. Hey, what's he trying to say now? I look good or something? <laughs> All right. There's your answer for that. Uh, yes. <laughs> I will. Damn, I know your heel hurt on that. Guys, we're into this new show. It's called Manscape. Ma Manscape. Manhunt. It's it's called Manhunt. What? Like that. I don't know. It's on Netflix. I don't know. It's so good though. If you guys like like FBI stuff and <laughs> bombs and all that type of stuff, it's called Manhunt something. So make sure you go check that out. Next question. Do you ever get annoyed by the girls? That's a question for both of us. You can answer that first. I don't get annoyed. Just just um. Be honest. Just, I don't get annoyed with them. I do like sometimes get like frustrated because like I don't know like sometimes like they just want and want and want and want and like literally I think it's just they just get bored really quick and then we have a lot of stuff to, like that we have to do like cleaning emails just we are always super super busy so sometimes like everything's just super crazy at times I wouldn't say annoyed I would say like overwhelmed I think the only time that I will say I get annoyed <laughs> is when it's 7 in the morning and these girls come He's and try and push on you and, and jump on you and all this type of stuff. I don't get up. I'll tell you that right not now. Not just that, but Jordan has never woke up early in his life. Like, ever. I think it's 
one time when we went to the lake and even then like I was like okay let's get up we're going to the lake like wake up like he even spent the night because he's like I know if I don't spend the night I'm not gonna wake up for the lake tomorrow so I was that like, was just my excuse okay so <laughs> I was like, okay, we'll spend the night. Cause me, it's so easy for me to get up early because my routine, I used to wake up at five, get ready for work, get the girls ready, take them to daycare by eight and be at work by nine. So I'd be up early, early. Early bird gets the work. Yeah, that's the only, that's the only thing though. Yeah. They like, but at the end of the day, we do realize like, we realize when we do get annoyed to like chill out because they are kids and obviously they are gonna want and want and want. Mm -hmm. And uh, <laughs> You know, just mm -hmm. like this. They have super short attention spans. Like, mm -hmm. they'll literally be going through YouTube. They watch a video for two seconds, scroll in, click another one. Two seconds, scroll in, click another one. They don't run even around, watch. Run around, come back to the phone, run around, want something on TV. <laughs> Yeah, so, <laughs> but you guys are gonna have to get used to them doing their little outbursts and stuff during doing our during our videos because they're part of us. So, uh, get used to it or uh, beat it. All right, next question. What is your zodiac sign? Pisces. She's a Pisces. Pisces. Crazy. That's the crazy sign. No, it's not. If anything, I'm like All right, stop. emotional, super loving, super caring. Um, I need a lot of attention. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm a Sagittarius. I'm kind of like super straightforward. Sagittarius are super, super straightforward. Yeah. Super blunt. Not just that, but like he'll think it in his head and sometimes it comes out worse than, than it should. Than it should. Like sometimes he says crap and it's just like you don't say that. Like <laughs> But I know a time and place to say it though. Sometimes. This is this is con this is the definition of fake crying, just to get some attention. That she goes, That's enough. No more. <clears throat> All right, y'all. Next question. I don't know how much we have left. We have six more questions left. Six more questions left, but we're probably only going to do like three or four depending on the time. All right. Next question. What is y'all's favorite memory so far together? You can go first. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I don't know. Our favorite memory. Honestly, it would probably be the time that you came over and I knew he chewed on his nails But I remember when I seen them in person he came over and I looked at them and I was like <gasps> Like this dude has nubs. I was like when you run out of your fingernails Like do you go to your toes and like we literally last so hard But my favorite memories would be like when he'd like literally only come over to for like 20 minutes Just to come see me and then he would leave because I'd have to go to bed and whatnot and get ready for That was work, my answer was the beginning, but the beginning. I'll say it now i'll change it i think one of my favorite memories is we were going through some shit like me and raylene had like a rough patch mm -hmm. and i remember i had to i went to go pick her up and we just sat in the car and talked everything out everything and now it's all good like we're literally like that was literally the only time that we argued like seriously was in the beginning beginning was in the beginning beginning before things were official and then it's all like it's fine now yeah Perfect now. Nothing's perfect, but it's perfect in our yeah. world, you know what I'm saying? Alright, next <laughs> next question. When is baby number three coming? We explain that. <laughs> Not soon. Not soon. We're we are so yeah, we're so good right now. Like, and not only that, but we have so much going on. We'd probably lose it. If we had a baby right now. Freaking forget a kid at the mall or something. <laughs> I know. Illy Myla, third baby. Where are Wait, you? Where's the third one? Where's the third one? Ah, so yeah, that's the answer to that question. I mean, that was super Daddy? chill. Next question. Does Reese help provide for the girls? Oh, thank you. Yes. Daddy? Literally, food, a home to live in, whatever we need. He'll be he'll be quick to go to the store. Like I remember one night, Ileana was like coughing, and that's when she got her really bad eczema rash. And it was like, how late was it? It was so late. Like, Probably like midnight. Like midnight, and he went to the store and got medicine for her and came back home. And I hate when she cries because it's like it's, it's the most. It's I think it's because she has a raspy voice too. Like her cry is just like it's so like ah! ear screaming. She's and like, sometimes oh it's fake God. because she's over exaggerating like yesterday she had a cough But the only reason why she had a cough is because she was crying and she was crying because she woke up that and she was She'll itching. make like she'll be so dramatic like she made herself car She cough. made herself cough and she was like acting like she was choking and stuff yeah. and I promise you it was not that <laughs> it serious was not She's looking at us right now like she's literally looking at us right here She knows that we're shout that we caught on to her, but it's all right. It's okay. Yeah. It's okay. We gave you medicine You slept good, huh? Here she here comes, she comes. Jealous. <laughs> All right, next question. Does Raylene still work her nine to five? No. Quit. She's actually been out of there for what, a week and a half? Yeah, so I was 
I was serving for a little bit because it was something like just temporary, you know. Um, <laughs> just because me, like, I've never been one to not make my own money and have my own things. <laughs> and not only that, but like, I feel like as a couple, we should both be able to provide. So I had, I only worked there for what, babe? Like two months? I worked at headquarters. It was like a, it's like a sushi bar and grill. But yeah, I don't work anymore. <laughs> full-time youtuber you know what i'm saying i even i convinced raylene to stop yeah, working. Like, like she was she was still like she was still like you're like we're making this youtube money but at the same time it's like it's not I don't, here like, yet I don't, like <laughs> yeah guys we still have not got paid off youtube like we're not like we don't really oh it's my sitting there but it hasn't it's, yeah so Burn. but i was just like i was like babe you're fine like it's good like you're you're fine just i had to convince her so much like even her family like her mom was still convincing her like still you're because like i just felt so so bad so like i'd even like finish my last week because like honestly it was so much like they worked her a double to do, exactly and so i'd be she, there for like sometimes like nine to twelve like we did the shifts. math and it wasn't even worth it for her to be working so that's why we just yeah but I shout out to finally headquarters her. shout out to headquarters too yeah shout out to tyler because he gave her a job when she yeah. needed it uh next question second to last question how do you feel about moving in with raylene and her babies is this something you weren't expecting Ooh, that was a good that's question, a good question. <laughs> Um, I mean, obviously I expected it because we got the spot together. Yeah. No, we were sure. Like, I didn't have any, I didn't have any, like, uh, okay. sit downs and like, do I really want to do this? Da, da, da. Like, I was ready. I was the one that was telling her, like, let's just get a spot. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go look. Let's find it. We can do it. Yeah. Let's do it. And then once we seen this place, like, we fell in love. Because, like, he wanted to go out with a big bang and go get a whole house and everything. But then when we saw this place, it's, like, so perfect. And it's not too big. And it's, like, <laughs> super cozy and just it feels like family it feels like a home yeah every time we walk in it we feel warm we feel cozy and happy and bubbly and also has to do with Raylene loves it at <laughs> 75 degrees that is hot no it's not I, when I was in LA we had our apartment at 69 degrees but it's getting cold outside and this dude will still have it at like 70 and like sometimes, I have to like, sleep with it cold we will wake up and it's like 64 in here and I'm like freezing like how do you live like that? I love it I love it I like to be warm <laughs> and then you the girls coming in. <laughs> I know that's why they got a cop. This dude over here. We're fine. Living in an it builds ice the age. immune system. All right, last question. I don't even know if this is like a serious question or not. Um, who's your favorite sibling? Oh, who is your favorite sibling? I can't. I don't know. It have to be with. Oh, I can't even say that. It feels so bad. Don't even say it. Yeah. Ugh, I love my siblings. I don't even think I have a favorite, but I'm definitely closer to my sister Athena. I have a brother and sister in California. Um, and then I have my sister Athena who lives out here, obviously. Um, Stop. so I can, Stop. I can say I'm honestly super close to her, but only because she lives here. But I feel like if I had my brother and my sister here, because me and my brother, we used to be like, like this. Like, he was literally like my best friend, blah, blah, blah. But he has his family in California doing his own thing. But yeah, I don't have a favorite sibling. Nice. Who's your favorite? I don't have a favorite. Like, me, like Justice, I like him for certain things. In Jersey, I like her for certain <laughs> things. You know what I'm saying? So I guess, like, I have my pros and cons with both of them. So I can't even say that I have a favorite sibling. You can't even do that. Like, how are you, how do you have a favorite sibling? That's like starting an argument. That's yeah. Like you're literally, you know, or what hurting someone's to feelings. And Justice and Jersey would come straight to me right now and just be like, Whoa. beat him up. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, who's your favorite sibling? Myla, who's your favorite sister? Do you like you, sissy? Yeah, yeah, uh, it's our little chunker. It's our little chunker. <laughs> But anyways, thank you guys for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. We hope you guys enjoyed the Q and A. Uh, there, those were some, those were some cool little questions. I don't think there was a lot of questions that were asked in the first Q and A that we had. Honestly, the first Q and A that we had was the first video that we ever dropped on our YouTube. And now we're like 13 videos down, 14 videos down. And so you guys get to see a little bit more about us, learn a bit more about more about us. And so that's why you guys asked more questions. Mm -hmm. uh, she just farted. <laughs> she literally just farted. I felt it. That is you disgusting. Felt the <laughs> it was like a juicy one though, you know like when you like squirt like ketchup and like only water comes out. Ooh. Anything you wanna say? No, thanks for watching guys. No, 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 no. Oh,
Awesome. If you guys didn't know, I make music. And some of y'all might not know, some of you new subscribers that have never seen us before might not know, but I make music. My artist name is Young Reese. I just dropped a single called After Midnight, uh, literally like a week and a half ago. It's doing good. It's on my artist channel, my Young Reese artist, artist channel. I always put the link in the description below. So make sure you go check that out. I promise you I make good music. I'm not like a YouTube artist that doesn't make good music. I'm not make, no SoundCloud rapper. I make good music. I make good music. I make professional music videos, all that. My artist side, that is my number one. That is my first priority. Like before we even did this, I was an artist. I'm still an artist. And so I take that serious and you know, one day I do want to be up there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but anyways, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video or if you guys like this video, make sure you smash that like button and make sure you turn your post notifications on so you're notified every single time and we subscribe. post. And subscribe. And subscribe. Like me and my baby always say Merry Christmas. And Happy Vlogmas. Yeah! Say, go, go to the camera and say, yeah! yeah.